What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit Structural Design uh, 2024 version. So this time, we're going to learn how to create section view and call out view. Okay, so let's do this. So section view, let's go to the 02 floor. So this is where we are going to create our section. So let's say I want to create a section that shows the main stair. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to the view tab and then look for the section. Okay, so this is your section tool. Section tool can also uh, found on your view control bar. Oh, I mean on your quick access toolbar. So this is what you call the quick access toolbar. And then below here, so this is your view control bar. So here in our quick access toolbar, since we always or most of the time we use section, so by default, it is here on our quick access toolbar. But since it has something to do with view, you can find it here on the view tab. Okay, so let's click the section. Okay, and then for creating section, you just need to pick two point. Okay, so let's say this is my first point. Okay, and then this is my second point. There you go. So that's now my section. So right after I create the section, so automatically it will be created here on the project browser. So by default, the name is section one. And you can also modify the size of your section view range, okay? So let's say for example, I want my section to view only up until this area here. So I can click that arrow to reshape the size of my view range and you can also see here this icon wherein you can flip the section to the other side so if you click that it will go to the other side okay and then i'm going to click that again because this is where i want my section uh, looking and then you can also click this icon here to cycle the section head so you can click that you can click again so this is uh, user preference, okay? So if you want to have a head like that or the tail or none at all, okay? You can click that one. All right. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open the section. So two options. You can click the symbol, the section symbol, right click, and then you can select go to view. Okay, so another option let's just click outside is you can double click the section head which is easier just double click that or aside from that if you know the name of the section view from the project browser like this one by simply hovering your pointer to your section it shows the name so views section section one so you look for views sections section one so you just need to double click the section that you just created from the project browser now in my case i'll just need to double click the section head there you go so that's the section so you can still modify the section so you can click the section and then after that you can click that blue node to resize your section like that okay so that's now my section and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I do not want to show my crop region. So here from my view control bar, I'm going to click this icon to hide the crop region. Okay, I just want to tidy up. I don't want the crop region showing. So I'm going to click that hide crop region. There you go. Okay. So that's how you create section. Very simple. So if you're going to edit your section, your section view will update as well. Like if you edit your section here on the floor plan, it will also update your section one. Like for example, I'm going to close the 3D view and then I'm going to click tile views to show my floor plan and then my section. Okay, so look what will happen if I'm going to click the section and then uh, flip that to the other side my section here will update as well so let's click this there you go so it's also updating so that's one of the power of 
Revit is its ability to update one view and propagate the changes to other views as well. All right, so you are always updated. So let's click that one again, and there you go. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is I'm going to maximize my section one. So to maximize your uh, section one view or your other view, you just need to select tab views, okay? So tab views, I just added it here on my quick access toolbar. So originally, it can be found here on the view tab, windows, tab views. Now, if you are using the tab views frequently, so you can add it here on the quick access toolbar by simply right clicking the tool and then selecting add to quick access toolbar. So it will be placed here. So if you want to remove a tool or tools from your quick access toolbar you just need to right click and then you can select remove from quick access toolbar all right so i'm going to activate my section one view by clicking and then selecting tab views so it will maximize my section one view now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create a call out view okay so call out view you can find it here on the view tab call out so it creates a rectangular call out in the view. So call outs isolate a specific portion of the model geometry to show a greater level of detail. So this is what you use if you want to create some detail view in your project. So you create call out. So let's click the call out. Okay, and then after that, from the properties, since I want to create a detailed view, so I'm going to change the properties here. So instead of building section, so I'm going to click the drop down and then look for detail. So I'm going to select detail and then look what will happen later here on our project browser. As you can see, we only have structural plans, 3D views, elevations, sections. Okay, so we don't have detailed view here. So if I'm going to create my detail view, it will be added here on our project browser. So I'm going to pick two points. Let's say for this one, one, and then I'm going to pick another point here, two. There you go. So as you can see, it's now added here on our project browser. So you can select the plus sign, and then that's now your detail view or your call out view. So I can click the call out view and then again i can resize that by click uh, clicking those a uh, blue node if you want and you can also reposition your call out head by clicking that blue node you can drag that let's say you put it here put it here put it here okay so it's up to you so let's say i'm gonna put it here there you go okay so i'm going to rename the section that i have created earlier our current section view so let's say this one so i'm going to right click that rename and then i'm going to call this like a main stair main is stair enter okay and then this call out view let's open up the call out view by the way you can also double click the call out head here or select your call out boundary right click and then go to view it's the same as section as well Okay, so let's double click from here. Double click and there's now our call out view. So I'm going to click outside and let's resize it. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to drag this. And then I do not want to see again the crop region. So from my view control bar, so we're going to select crop or hide crop region. There you go. And let's change the scale. So let's say uh, one fourth of an inch to one foot. So you can change the scale. And then I can also change the detail level here to fine detail level. There you go. Okay. Right. So let's right click this one and then rename. I'm going to call this. Uh, let's say that's my typical column detail enter 
and then just click outside all right so that's it for this uh, simple exercise of creating section view and call out view thank you for watching have a nice day